Welcome to vlog number 27. Today we're gonna to talk about a new Harriet Tubman photograph that just sold at auction. Hey, welcome back to the vlog. Today I wanna to talk about a newly discovered picture of Harriet Tubman. We just finished up our unit on the Underground Railroad and the abolitionist movement. And as a history teacher, when we talk about Harriet Tubman, the students are always fascinated. She's got a very interesting background. She did a lot of uh, amazing things, but there are very few pictures of Harriet Tubman. In fact, uh, the one picture that you typically find when you do a Google search is of Harriet Tubman um, rather uh, late in life. So that's like the one image that most of my students come away with when they think of Harriet Tubman. So just recently, there was an auction. Um, they found an album of uh, 44 different abolitionist uh, leaders, and it was uh, up for auction just a couple days ago. And fortunately, the Library of Congress and the, uh, the new Smithsonian, the um, uh, National Museum of African American History um, that sits there on the mall in Washington, D.C., um, they were able to purchase the entire album for uh, about $161,000. And included in that album is a picture of Harriet Tubman from uh, earlier in life. They think that it was probably taken around kind of like 1866, 1868. Um, so roughly when she was probably in her mid 40s or so. Um, it's an amazing photograph. Uh, all the historians and articles that I've read about it say that they are uh, you know, basically 100% uh, sure that it is Harriet Tubman. So uh, it's a great example for my students that, you know, the things that we're talking about in history, whether it's 100 years ago, 200 years ago, a lot of these things are still being researched, they're still being uh, discovered, and it's kind of nice to be able to now add that to our resources as we talk about Harriet Tubman. So on the topic of Harriet Tubman, if you are studying her in class, I do have a suggestion for a book. It is Harriet Tubman's Secret Agent. It's a book by Thomas B. Allen, and he's written some amazing things. He also wrote uh, George Washington Spymaster. He wrote a book about Lincoln and using technology in the Civil War. And uh, it's a really easy read. Um, I wouldn't say that it's, you know, grade school level or anything, but uh, it's relatively easy for students to read. And it's also a very engaging book. It, uh, it has uh, a lot of illustrations inside. It has some really interesting stories. Um, I enjoyed reading it as an adult, and I've had students in the past that have read it that have really enjoyed it. And uh, one of the things that um, Mr. Allen does in a lot of his books is if it has anything to do with uh, spies, and of course, Harriet Tubman was a, a Union spy during the Civil War, he puts like little codes on some of the pages. I'll try and kind of find one here. You can kind of see like there's um, some hidden codes. And then in the back, it talks about actual codes that were used um, relating to that topic. So you can kind of find a, a little bit of extra hidden stuff in the book um, by looking at some of the codes that he puts in. So I would definitely recommend this book if you're doing anything with the Underground Railroad, Harriet Tubman. And uh, I did include a link for this book on the uh, show notes for today. I also included a couple different articles about the historic photo, uh, both about it being discovered and then also it being sold. And then I did find a NPR interview or podcast with Mr. Allen. Um, I believe it was from maybe 2009 or so. And uh, it's a great little kind of audio clip um, of him talking about Harriet Tubman being a spy. So um, when you go to that link, you'll see a audio file, but then you'll also see the transcript. So that might be something you'd want to use in class. Uh, it's not super long. So if you wanted to play it in class or if you wanted to print it out and have students read the transcript, um, you could really use either one. So a lot of interesting things happening with Harriet Tubman. I know there's some new um, national parks and historic sites that have opened up in the last couple months. Um, so uh, a lot of discussion and uh, a lot of uh, recognition for somebody that really did a lot for a lot of different movements, both the abolition movement and the women's suffrage movement. Um, pretty uh, incredible woman in American history. So go ahead and check those things out. You can find all of the links for the resources at our webpage. That is at historygeekteacher.com. I also have my contact information there if you'd like to contact me. So until next time, remember, history is so much more than just a bunch of boring old dead guys. Until next time, bye. <laughs>